Hello YouTube, welcome back. Today I am looking at setting up a, a billion modem. If you're wondering what that looks like, that's what the modem looks like. LED is in the front, it stands up with three antennas, it's pretty powerful, it supports up to three um, WAN connections. You can have a mobile data connection plus a WAN connection plus an ADSL connection. So let me see if I got the pictures of the back of the modem. No, it's just got one photo. Um, so yeah, it's about $200, uh, depending on where you buy it from. So that's the modem we'll be setting up today. So I've just reset the modem, and I've got the power light, which is solid green, the WLAN light that's solid green, and one of the WAN lights solid green. So um, that's because I've got only one WAN connection. So I'll show you that should be the one because uh, it's it's insecure so let me just I don't want to connect automatically I'll just connect to it and we'll see uh, what comes up right I just connected let's have a look at IP config okay there it is 1.254 that's the default gateway and I want to get there there we go that's what it looks like let me see if I can zoom in a bit okay so I have NBN so I'll be setting it up for NBN uh, I'm not going to use, I'm going to set it up again for my uh, connection, so it's doing its thing. Right, Canberra, that's alright. Sydney. I want to use the WAN, Ethernet WAN, as the main uh, internet port, PPPoV. I'm just going to enter my NBN details. So I've gone ahead and entered the uh, PPP details, I'm just going to continue. So I'm going to save the details over here. So it's doing the configuration. And at this stage you'll see the light starts flashing. Uh, the WAN light goes flashing and uh, the WLAN could go flashing as well. Your WAN puts configured successfully. I'm going to go to wireless. So it's a pretty intelligent device. And I'll make it the same password if I can remember what I made it. Okay, at this stage when it comes up with with this message, this means the um, unsecure network is now gone. I'm just gonna connect to this one, see if. Sure. Right, so that's all connected. If I do a restart, or like refresh, go back to the default password I just set up. Um, Google. Right, there we go, the internet's uh, up and running. You could do a lot of other things, like. I set up um, some of my clients with these uh, with this modem because it does uh, IP tunneling, it does VPN, and it does intelligent routing. So if you want to connect to a certain device uh, coming through the internet, like port forwarding and whatnot, then you could use um, um, trusted certif certification authorities within your network. Yes, you could do failover WAN. I don't have any at the moment. I only have. Uh, the internet f Ethernet f interface, which is this one, which is already set up. But other than that, I don't have any DSL connection here. Yeah, I could do SMS or, or email alerts. Yeah, I'm just going to back up my settings. Backup settings. So I've uh, backed up and I name it like that. Uh, for my clients, I save them with the client name. But this one's temporary, so I just want to show you what sort of convention I use. There's a lot of other settings if you want to um, set up something. I'll probably make more videos as I go. And to restart the modem, you just click on that and select restart uh, device with either current or factory default settings. Um, I'm just going to restart and because every time you make it works after a restart. So you don't have an issue the next time there's a power outage or uh, any other technical problem.